cool inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. Well, good day. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network, all right, broadcasting live from St. Petersburg, Florida, right here at Invention One Studios. I'm Akos the Solutionist, your host for My Cool Inventions, and we feature inventors, we feature inventions, and we bring every day, we try to bring an inventor on who's pitching their great idea, their invention, and you guys vote thumbs up or thumbs down. You decide who has the next $100 million idea. And we're all abuzz to Tomorrow morning, I get back on a plane, go up to Minnesota to go film the live, our fourth episode of Inventor Showdown. I got to tell you something, Inventor Showdown's all a buzz. I got, we've gotten thousands and thousands of inquiries about it. People are submitting their inventions to Inventor Showdown. It's a live reality show that broadcasts out of Minneapolis, 8 a.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your television listings because in uh, Evine Network, look for the Evine Network. Evine Live. It's usually up by the live shopping channels. It's broadcast on cable, broadcast on broadcast. Over no, almost 90 million homes have uh, the Evine Network on it. So you can watch the live show. Four inventors go head to head. It's going to be so much fun. It's like tournament style. It's like March Madness for inventors. And we've been doing this week after week after week. This is our fourth week. We've had 12 inventors up and we've had three finalists come through. Our first finalist from the very first week Robert Diegas, strike plate lock. You heard him right here on My Cool Inventions. He qualified. He's up on live national television, and he sold a boatload of strike plate locks. He sold enough to become a finalist to go on, and on April the 8th, these finalists will return, and they'll go, the finalists will go head to head. It's nothing but excitement. Week number two, surprise. This lady, Pam Turner, with the cinch side threading needles, took the prize, and she took it away from... The, the makeup artist for the royal family. She took it away from Peter Banks, Celeste Schiffner. And it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a no thread needle. You know how you have to put the hole in the thread? You don't have to do that with this one because anybody can thread a needle now because you don't have to thread the needle through the hole. It's an incredible invention. You got 36 needles for 20 bucks. And let me tell you something. She stole the prize. Let me tell you. We measure this thing by dollars per minute. Dollars per minute. Because that's what the real life you sell per minute. And she has the highest dollars per minute of all 12 inventions. So far, Pam Turner snuck in there and stole the prize. Last week, nothing but excitement. Oh, my goodness gracious. We had the Lotus trolley bed. We had the, the tadpole tape cutter. We had Bob Delaney with the boudet wipes. And you know who took the prize? A Louisiana boy named Lee Malahan III. Tadpole tape cutter came screaming in. This is a fantastic tape cutter. You don't have to uh, have those tape guns. It's good for duct tape and masking tape and DIY tape and scotch tape and electrical tape. They just get three of these things. And three different sizes. It makes all your tape cutting needs really easy. The studio was hot. The studio was buzzing. He took the lead early and he held it to the end. And let me tell you, it was close. Lotus trolley bag was only a few dollars a minute behind. And the second place was uh, Rusty Coy Jones with L Lamp Angel. Oh my gosh. I think she only missed it by like 20, 30 bucks a minute. They were all neck and neck, all three of them going for the prize. And even Boudet Wipes wasn't far behind. All four of those inventors. And that show was the most successful show of the third the highest sales volume of all combined. And let me tell you something, nothing but excitement. And this coming up week, near the end of the program, we'll go over the contestants. So stay tuned for that for Inventor Showdown, week four of Inventor Showdown. Now, like every day, we bring an inventor in. And today's special, we have the inventor right here. Uh, this gentleman here comes to us from Florida. He's invented the Diamond Veneer Travel Jewelry Collection. Let me introduce to you Jacob Hasidim sitting right here. Jacob, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, it looks like I've got a vault here of all kinds of jewels. You, you know what? You bring millions of dollars of diamonds in here. This is my kind of show right here. What's going on here? Well, the security guard is right outside <laughs> guarding. So we got, we've got, now this is this is a cool invention because they, these things look like diamonds. So they, they feel like diamonds. They've got the color of diamonds, but they're not diamonds. They're, 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 they're something I think that, 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 would, that would fool a lot of people. Tell us about your product. Tell us about your uh, innovation here about this diamond. Diamond veneer. What is that diamond veneer all about? The diamond veneer, the way it says it all, it's veneer film of uh, carbon diamond that we uh, 
So, so, so it's a vi- so veneer. It's like a layer, layer of, of carbon diamonds. Carbon diamonds. So are these like real diamond layers, uh, or is it dust, or is it a film? What is it? It's a, it's microwave process that okay. uh, uh, mystifies the carbon. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it's and it goes all around the stone. Okay. And it gives it that uh, look of G G color diamond. So a G color diamond is achieved with this this technology that sort of mists this carbon fiber yes. around around the stone. Around the What's stone. the stone underneath? It's a uh, we start with uh, diamond quality stone, a uh, diamond quality cubic zirconia. So it's a cubic zirconia underneath, and then you layer it with this diamond veneer. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Wow. So so yeah. so what is the benefit of that? It solves a huge problem for people women traveling okay that they feel at ease wearing it okay so people don't say is it real is it not because by nature cubic zirconia is extremely white so it's white right it's extremely white and it's very easily detectable it's detectable because of its white color Be- because of its white color okay uh, show me show me one light. of those you had one of those here uh, so he's brought he's brought in cubic zirconia into the, in, into my uh, studio here our studio take a look at this oh, so these are cubic zirconians you're right they have a little bit of a white film to them i don't know uh, al if you can catch that but there it is in my hand it's got a kind of a little white film on there there right there in my hand a little white film to it and this one here is the veneered one and let me tell you something when you look at this side by side the veneered one is not white you say it's no, got g it's color a g- G to H color. G to H color. Diamond. Wow. So if yeah, I take this diamond. guy into my jeweler, would he figure this out? In the first uh, look, he will not. So the first look, it'll fool even a jeweler. Yeah, this is what I experienced in the trade shows. Really? The, the fine jewelry shows that wow. I attend. So, so, so how does the jeweler finally figure out that it's not a real diamond? Well, they have their own tricks, plus they uh, have the loop that they yeah, loop. The loop? Uh, and, uh, so yes. if I had a loop and, and I'm diamond, looking at this, what would I see? What would I see? It's a it's a it's a flawless. It's flawless. But it's not D. D okay. is What's the whitest, the whitest in the diamond scale. That's D is the best, right? Uh, in the diamond. And the diamond scale. But you don't want the D in the cubic zirconia. Uh, you why want not? the G. You want so G. So it fools uh, anybody to look at it. Really? That's the whole uh, wow. point here. So 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 basically basically you've appre- you've achieved the look, right? I achieved the look. You achieved the look and yeah. you've achieved the fact that maybe I don't want to lose my my diamonds, but you know, I don't worry about the cubic zirconi with the diamond veneer. Is it expensive? No, it's not expensive, not at all, because now we're uh, going into phase of uh, high volume production. Okay. And we can uh, Offer to clients uh, almost the same price, like a highest quality cubic zirconia. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I have a story to tell you after after the break. But first, I want to do your pitch. I want to give this guy 60 seconds to pitch it, like we do every day. The inventor comes, they pitch their product for 60 hot seconds. You listen to the pitch, and you vote. You go to mycoolinventions.com, hit the vote button. Thumbs up or thumbs down, that's what you do. Is this a good idea or a not-so-good idea? That's up to you. Up to Jacob here. He has to pitch us and win us over in 60 seconds. He has 60 hot seconds to win us over. So, Jacob, are you comfortable? Are you ready to give us your best 60-second pitch? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Thank you for having me. I'm grateful to be here. The Diamond Veneer Collection is uh, basically diamond-quality cubic zirconia that we put a layer of a carbon diamond over it to make it look like a G color diamond. And uh, you can travel with it without any worries of people looking at it and saying, oh, is this real or is not? And it's uh, solving another problem of buying expensive diamonds for travel mm-hmm. or having uh, just wear the real looking thing without uh, investing so much money to it. And uh, for this occasion, we have uh, offered 50% off. 50% Go to the diamondveneer.com and enter uh, code GROUP at checkout. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. 
Well, time cut him off. He said enter 50% off. What was that website again, Jacob? Diamondveneer.com. Diamondveneer.com. You enter the word group and 50% goes off your bill. Is that correct? It goes off their bill, yeah. 50% off. Diamond Ven- Got to vote. You got to go buy it. Go to diamondveneer.com and vote. You want to vote? Go to mycoolinventions.com. Thumbs up or thumbs down. You want to get your lady something or you want to buy yourself something? Go to diamondveneer.com. When you're checking out, hit the word group, 50% off. That's kind of the my savings here. Cool product on there. Now, you've got rings and bracelets, and you've got necklaces. What's the metal underneath? Uh, what, what kind of metal are you using here? It's all sterling silver base. Sterling silver base. And is the sterling silver covered with something? Uh, yeah, it's uh, covered with platinum or rhodium, what you call a platinum. Okay. And we give a 30 days money back guarantee, no questions asked. All right. We give lifetime warranty on the stone. It right. comes with a certificate, comes in very nice jewelry box. Okay. And uh, we service everything. And even after the 30 days, we have th- uh, lifetime warranty on the stone. So you got lifetime warranty on the stone, 30 days on the band. Go vote. Go buy. Diamondveneer.com. Tony's put the website up there. Show how to get a 50% off coupon right there when you go buy it. Hey, listen, we're going to have to the break. We're going to talk about, uh, to Jacob, how do you how do you market? How do you sell these Diamond Veneer collect, collections? I've seen them a lot of trade shows. I've seen them in Vegas. I think I've seen them in New Orleans. I think I've seen many, many, many Vegas ERA shows, I think. We're going to talk about how to get you out there. If you're an inventor, you're an entrepreneur, how do you market your product? In the meantime, if you're an inventor, submit to mycoolinventions.com. Submit your invention because you'll end up here first. And if people like what you see here, you might be presented to the uh, Evine Group, the Inventor Showdown Buyers. Who knows? Maybe you'll be on the next hottest live reality show called Inventor Showdown, where you go head to head against other inventors. And the grand prize is being invited back tournament style like March Madness for Inventors. Stick around. Plenty more right after this. Stains are out. Stop the crying with Stains Are Out. Thanks, I love it. It's incredible. It's amazing. Who was that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at stainsareout.com. I studied chemistry in college and uh, I learned to design and look at solutions for different things, learn to break things down, and then later I got into the trade show business where I was demonstrating products to people, and then I realized the best selling products are problem solvers. People always want to solve their common problems at home, so then we started looking at what problems are common, what do people need solutions for, and we started designing them. I guess that's the definition of invention. Hi, I'm Akos Jankira, they call me the solutionist, and the collection I'm bringing to Evine is innovative gadgets, problem solvers, things that you want to tune into because they're always cool and exciting. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. And let me tell you, I feel like a pirate leading down with blunder right here. I got diamonds all around me. I've got jewels all around me. Take a look at my table over here. I got I got necklaces. I got rings. I got bracelets all with what looks like hot four, four three, four, five carat diamonds. But they're not. <laughs> they're actually cubic zirconia covered with a diamond veneer, <coughs> which I think this technology is really cool because, you know, um, I used to, I don't know, you don't know, but I used to be involved in the cubic zirconia business. When cubic zirconias first came out in Canada, we were one of the first importers of com- cubic zirconia. We sold it to all the department stores, all the big department stores. We were, we were in there selling cubic zirconia rings and earrings. And I'm going to tell you something. It's so funny because we used to import that stuff by the kilo. I know. Like by, were, by the kilogram. Yeah. We didn't actually buy the by the ring or the stone. They, it was a bag. You know? And they were charging uh, arms and legs then. Yeah, they were charging arms and legs. That's right. You had to give up an arm and a leg to get that stuff. But they sold so well. And I think their most best sellers were their earrings because the stud earrings, you know, because uh-huh. they look good. Yeah. Uh, the ladies all loved it, you know, because they didn't want because they always lose their earrings and, yeah. and they didn't want to lose it. This one they feel comfortable with because they could wear it all the time. Look, now, but it didn't look as good as this stuff. The stuff that we brought in was nothing like this here. What do you got there? Look at the backing we give to the... Uh, what's to the, the backing? 
it's uh, they call giant backings. Giant, oh yeah, giant backings. <laughs> they are giant. And oh, look, he's selling silver. Oh look at this. He's got this. He's got it right here in my hand. I hold it up. This to the is camera our here. own design. The see, setting. See that's oh that's, that's a cool design. Extremely low. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. And this is the giant backing on here, so you don't you don't lose it. So that's kind of a yeah, cool idea. Yeah. So this must be selling really well. So what this does? If I buy a stud like this, what is that? Three carats or what is that? How uh, big is that? That you, one there. You, you know, right? It's three carats. Three carats? Yes, uh, yes. Well, I've done this before. But uh, how much would that cost me retail if I wanted to get a three carat stud for my lady? Uh, in the um, mass volume, it costs around below $50. 50 bucks? Below $50. Yeah. Get on the website, dynaveneer.com. This is kind of cool. There's a little study earring for you. So how do you market it? So I, I want to talk about being an entrepreneur. So, so so you got this line. You've developed it over the years. So how do you get it out there? You was just telling me a story. You were in Orlando last week or this week for the duty-free show. I didn't even realize there was a duty-free show. Is that where all the duty-free shops go buy all their stuff? All the airports, all the cruise ships. They wow. Come there and is it a big uh, show? It's a huge show. Like how many exhibitors? 10, 20? How uh, many? No, I think there were almost 200 exhibitors. 200 uh, exhibitors, and wow. And the booze was all the time. People? The whole day, people having booze there, you know, testing. Testing. And they're drinking and drinking. Oh, of course, because they're duty-free. you got to have your old scotch, right? you got to yeah. have some. Yeah. you got to have the right. They, a, they, they sell, what do they sell in duty-free shops? They sell tobacco. They sell this, lots of alcohol, chocolates. Oh, I love going Chocolate, to the chocolates. Yeah, and yeah. cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes, yeah. And they let yeah. the perfumes, a lot of perfume. Oh, a lot of perfume. And, and this sort of things. The, these uh, see, it, travel jewelry. The travel jewelry. I got, yeah. I got, a, I, got a, I think I got for Christmas, I got Celeste, one of those Swarovski uh, pens, yes. you know, with all the Ah, they sell that the... too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so that's a trade show. It's a very big trade show. Oh, you got footage. Look, what is this footage of Al? Is that the, what am I looking at there, this Jacob? This is our showroom. We have huge oh, showroom. Oh, that's your uh, showroom. Where's the, that? In the California Market Center in Los Angeles. So you're in Los Angeles. Yes. Oh, oh my yes, goodness. That's your. Yes. Look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Yes. If you're watching the video, you take a look at. It looks like it looks like a treasure trove. Look, it looks we like have... I'm in the Diamond District in New York. Is what it looks like. On there, just acres and acres of, of tons and tons of jewels there. I... So people come there and buy this stuff. They come, and I've been in the industry for more than 20 years. 20 years? And uh, You look too young for 20 years. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so, so so there's a store. So so do, do, do other, so other retailers who sell the stuff come there and buy it wholesale from you, or what happens? Yeah, we are in about 500 doors on the fashion jewelry 500 side. 500 doors on yes. the fashion jewelry side. So I think if you're an entrepreneur, I, I think the point I wanted to make earlier is that, that, that it's all about getting out there. It's all about the trade shows. It's all about on the street hustling. I've hustling. seen you at the ERA Electronic Retailing it's, Association show. You have to show. be persistent, persistent and don't get discouraged from uh, uh, yeah. resisting uh, resistance from buyers. Yeah, don't get discouraged from resistance. That's true. If you believe what you're doing, go all the way no matter what. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do. You know what? You're you're the typical entrepreneur. That's exactly what we did to build our business. We went from trade show to trade show to trade show. We met people. And what I want to encourage every entrepreneur out there for, it's not just when you go to a trade show. Sometimes things happen at a trade show that you least expect. You go there for one reason, but all of a sudden, yes. somebody else teaches you some other Absolutely avenue of distribution. Right. You go, you are starting heading in that direction. The point is, move. Keep walking. Because as long as you're stepping, you're moving somewhere. If you're sitting at home, you're moving nowhere. I can guarantee the response. So Get out there, get the trade shows going. Look at Jacob, he's down here, the duty-free show in Orlando. I didn't even realize it existed, and he's found it, and go look. So everybody scour, everybody hustle, keep those entrepreneurs, keep those product developers, keep those ideas like putting diamond veneer on, on cubic zirconias, keep that stuff going, because that is what drives this economy, and that's really great. And thank you so much for being on the program, Jacob. Oh, and I want you guys to vote. I'm gonna do a little housekeeping at the end here. I want you to vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com and vote for Jacob. This by the way, if you see this stuff up close, it's incredible. I mean, it looks real. I mean, the color is fantastic. You get these big stones for low money, and I think you're going to put a smile on somebody's face. So go to diamondveneer.com. Uh, Tony's put it up on the Facebook live stream here, diamondveneer.com. Coupon code uh, GROUP, and you get 50% off. Hey, listen. Go on Sunday, Sunday Inventors Showdown. People are all talking about it. Every world's a buzz. And who are the four inventors this Sunday? Well, let me tell you something. We have four. I think this show's going to be really hot because there's really cool inventions on it. Number one is Patrick Hopple, or Hoppy Hopple. Uh, Patrick's got grocery grips. And I just learned that uh, I think he won that Steve Harvey show. This guy's actually a champion of another show. Uh, Steve Hopple, he's coming down with grocery grips. This is a grip that you can grab 
every grocery bag in the place and you can take it from the car to the house real simple. That's what I try to do, Jacob. I try to carry all of them at the same time because I'm Superman. You know what? And of course, I lose all the blood from my fingers because I got too much weight in my hand. He's got a great invention called the Grocery Grip, so stay tuned on Sunday. Second inventor, oh, I love this guy, Noah Brader. Noah Brader from Columbus, Ohio. This guy invented the reversible umbrella. You've seen it at all the stores. You've seen the knockoffs. This guy's the true patent holder, the real deal, and we're going to be showing his umbrella, not for nothing, it's $19.99. It's a great deal. They've got all kinds of different styles, and it opens the other way. So happens, umbrellas open this way, close this way, open this way. His, what happens, it opens this way and closes up. Why that's important? Because then the wet side is on the inside. So think about coming an umbrella into your car. Instead of closing and having the wet side on your side, you're getting all wet. He's got it backwards, which is really cool. I think it's a great invention. And the third one, Super Socket. Uh, I got to pronounce his name. This guy's name is uh, spelt Y-I-X-I-Z. Jacob, imagine that. My <laughs> name is pronounced A-K-O-S. That's a hard name. That, that's got a little bit too many Y's and Z's in it for me. Easier. I think. Uh, we'll ask him how he pronounces his name in person. Super Socket. Great idea. Instead of having a plug strip with five or six plugs that you can't put all the plugs in anyways, he's created a cube one, and you've got five different ones, and he's even bent the, he's even changed the angle of the plug, so the plug never gets inter interferes with the other plug, which is a super cool idea. Fantastic for your kitchen counters or your bathroom counters. We're going to see Super Socket, and my goodness gracious, Lu Rudy Galega. Rudy, Rudy's been, uh, Galego has been promoting this thing. Tostia. How about like a, you like Pop-Tarts? How would you like to make your own tostillas in your own toaster? This is awesome stuff. You can put maybe salsa. You can put a little, uh, little sausages in there. Make your own little tostilla. Put it, throw it in the toaster and it cooks it up for you like a Pop-Tart. And you're going to get two of those things for 25 bucks as you're going to use it thousands and thousands of time at home. What a lineup, right? Grocery grips, umbrellas, super socket and tostilla. I can hardly wait to Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Who's going to be the fourth finalist? We have Robert Diegas, we got Pam, Tur uh, Pam Turner, we got Lee Malahan. Who's going to be the fourth finalist? I'm going to tell you something. I got a call from the USPTO a lady. Uh, who, she's working for another company right now, and she knows Pam. She goes, did Pam really become a finalist? Yes, she did. And you could be a finalist, too. All you have to do is submit your product. You got to get here first. You got to get a good thumbs up vote. And then, of course, then we'll take it up to the Invention Showdown, inv I guess, Vendor Showdown buyers. And who knows? Maybe you could get on national television in front of 90 million homes selling your product, sell a boatload of stuff, and you beat out the other inventors, you get invited back tournament style until we get all the finalists and we crown the top inventor. That's going to be April the 8th. April the 8th, all four finalists of Inventor Showdown. What a hot reality show. If you haven't got a chance to see that, you can see that uh, feed in our My Cool Inventions Facebook feed, or you can go to YouTube and just type in the word Inventor Showdown. All the shows are up there. You can see it on your big television at home. It's super exciting. I think it's the hottest reality show featuring inventors, and why wouldn't I like that? Go on Roku TV, Amazon Fire, Android TV, go to the Inventions and Gadgets channel, check out Inventor Showdown. Are you kidding me? Loser. Stop. Stains are out. The yelling with stains are out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana man knows the secret. My stains are out. You can too at stainsareout.com.